It's so nerdy. We love it. <laughs> All right. Showtime. Again, for those of you who are new here, Basically, what Monster Camp is, we're just trying to romance some monsters. It's kind of cool. And, of course, all these different places can level up our stats. And the one we're going for loves this place the most. Let's go. You go to the Haunted Manor to gain some boldness. Since you found a brochure that promises some boldness if you visit it. Instead, you find a mischievous demon. It was all a ruse to lure you here. The demon will take nine years of your life. You take the demon to court for misleading advertising. The jury isn't fond of mischievous demons who fool people into giving the years up of their life, so you win, and the demon has to give you plus two strength. Fuck yeah! Let's go! You and Damien are engaging in that classic, classic camp prank of taking a bunch of other campers' sheets and tying them together to create a complicated net involved in a Rube, uh, Rube Goldberg-ass deadfall trap. Whoa, you're a pro! Yeah, nice work, Michaela. Our friends will never know what hit them, especially if it kills them. <sighs> Hand me my bag, will you? I need to find the hilarious metal spikes up from the bottom of the pit. Ugh, it's so hard to find anything in this bag. My dad's packed it full of useless shit like a water purifier and non-perishable food. And a pillow? Why? I'm perfectly capable of smothering people with my bare hands. Huh, I did notice this before. Damien holds a so aloft a bottle, inside of which swirls a dark black and gold liquid? Mist? It's hard to say exactly. Also, the bottle is screaming, DEATH TO THE LIVIES! At the top of its metaphorical lungs. Your time will come, your rain will end, bad stuff. It's gonna happen! Mm -hmm. This bottle is weird as shit. My dad's packed all kinds of useless camping supplies in here. A tent, backpack, halibut, but this is the most confusing of all. Yeah! Like, like, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What is it? What do I do with it? The bottle seems to be causing Damien a great deal of distress. You better come up with a reasonable explanation so the two of you can move on with the fuck, move the fuck on with your day. It's a novelty alarm clock. Since people already hate their alarms, why not have an alarm that hates you back? It's a hunting accessory to lure ducks by mimicking their noises. Man, ducks sure are the we're getting weird these days. Oh god. Um. Hmm. I feel like this is. Huh. This is the biggest question here. That's that's the thing. Which one would be the case? I feel like we should go with the duck noise. <laughs> I feel like we should definitely go with the duck noises. Um, because I feel like the alarm clock is creative, and the duck noises is fun. And if my creativity, because my creativity is labeled as dexterity, that's four, and fun is labeled as mana, which is uh, seven. So I think I think the duck is kind of fun. So I think we should go with the duck. Let's go with the duck. That's crazy enough oh, it's to both. work. I mean, I'll fucking take it both my highest. <laughs> Fuck it. Oh, right. I knew haunting threats to my life and my family sounded familiar. And now I know exactly why. That's the sound that ducks make to the lake. <laughs> Here's the plan. Grab some sticks, have the bottle make duck noises, wait for ducks to come, chase them with sticks. Damien sets the bottle down and begins to shriek. The eighth circle will fall down with the levees. Kings. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> to, to your utter shock, ducks do in fact come waddling over. But these are no average ducks, oh no. These are super jack ducks with spiky hair and spiky teeth and spiky tattoos. These are buff ducks. See, okay, now I need to hear the DuckTales theme rewritten for these fuckers. Buff ducks, woo! <laughs> They'll just fuck your shit right up there, buff ducks, woo! <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to. <sighs> Someone has to shit about the tins of hell! The <laughs> duck with the eye patch ass. I don't know why I gave him a really shitty voice. I don't care, I'm going with it. <laughs> Cause that's our job! Start a fight to do this is what we we'll do! Huh? Fight me, dude! Get wrecked, duckies! <laughs> Damien immediately sets to chasing the ducks around with his stick. 
What? Oh god, no, that's sick! Our one weakness! Years of training and careful planning for nothing! The sound of Boo Paul's lip sync for your death fills the air. It's Damien's ringtone, and since he has his hands full with a stick, you answer on speaker for him. <laughs> Hello, our sweet little prince of hell, says Stan, king of hell. We wanted to see how you were doing at camp. Fucking metal. Fucking awesome. Thanks for the sick duck lore, dads. Duck lore? Asks Lucian, the other king of hell. I don't remember packing your duck lore, but I was very busy swapping uh, people's eyeballs with a scoop of an anthill that day. Uh, let me read that again. I don't remember packing you a duck lore, but I was very busy swapping people's eyeballs with a scoop of anthill that day. <laughs> yeah, you gave me a bottle full of black and gold smoke that screams endlessly about how much it hates us and wants us dead. You know, a duck lore. Oh, Lucian, you silly, silly Billy Willy Warlord. I told you to pay attention when packing Damien's bag. Damien, that's not a lore. That's a lure. Hmm? Sorry, what now? Allure Vexraz, commander of the rebel armies of the Forbidden Black Flame. When he lost the war, we put his soul into a bottle. I meant to pack a thermos, but I must have packed that instead. Those ducks are for real. Oh, weird. Because it totally brought ducks to us. Handsome, very buff ducks. Oh, says Stan. Those must be the Darkwing Ducks. <laughs> Stan. Those must be the Darkwing <laughs> Those must be the Darkwing Ducks, a group of mercenaries who were sworn enemies of the LeVays, but who have been in unknown location for the last ten years, and use the soul to discover their location and defeat them. Good for you, son. I just wanted to chase some ducks around with a stick. That's our boy, say Stan and Lucian in unison. You and Damien spend the rest of the afternoon happily chasing duckies with sticks. You lose two karma for harassing wildlife, but you do get plus two mana and plus one wisdom. I, <laughs> I just, I, <laughs> see, it's one thing for me to say I want like a fucking DuckTales parody for these fuckers. And then it turns around and looks me in the eye and says, no, those are the Darkwing Ducks. <laughs> the balls of the, the audacity of this game. <laughs> I fucking love it. Oh, Jesus Christ, and all that is holy. Ooh. Showtime! Alright, we're going back into the manor. We know what to do. You decide to get your tarot cards read while you're in the haunted manor. The wicked old lady who offers you the service said it'd be fun. The first card she flips over shows a photorealistic drawing of you flying on a hang glider directly into the power lines. Is that good? You ask the psychic. But she wordlessly puts her cards away and vanishes into the darkness. It's probably fine. You gain plus two strength and a fun new phobia. <laughs> oh my god. Whew. Sorry, I'm also still kind of like calming down from what the fuck just happened. Alright. <coughs> you link up with Damien afterwards. He told you coach wanted him to dig a latrine and he could use a hand. Hey. There you are, Makila. Thanks for showing up. But I think I figured it out. <laughs> I didn't know what a latrine was, but it sounds French. So I made an educated guess and buried landmines everywhere. You look at him perplexed. The French didn't invent landmines, you tell him, and also, uh, God damn it, Damien. What, they didn't? What the fuck is the point of the French then? <laughs> oh, God damn you. 
Get off my property! Hey, stop bur- Hey, stop burying those landmines on my property. You're dangerously close to exceeding the state of California's recommended landmine maximum, and I don't need that paperwork. Fight me, dude! Your land? What the fuck are you talking about? I carved my name into every building here, and most of the campers. <laughs> Sorry, kid. That actually is our M.E. It's just an expression. But Camp Spooky is mine now. Here's the D. Uh -huh. oh, what? No! I, you can't buy Camp Spooky. This is the home of some of my most treasured memories. Also, all my landmines. All this will be a shopping mall. Your memories explosives will have to find another home, yes, Sonny. This is a shopping mall country now. Ah! That, that, that blows on our balls. Shopping malls are useless. Why buy one here? On the contrary, shopping malls should have one very important use. Make your summer campers like you absolutely miserable. Let's go, intern. Now if you excuse me, I'm off to spill some oil on the Pacific Ocean and blame it on sea otters. I'll be back with the bulldozers this afternoon. Toodles. Aw, oh, fuck this. We can't have that colossal wiener bulldozer our beloved camp. I was planning to bulldoze our beloved camp. <sighs> There's only one way to fix this that I will accept. Crimes. Come on, Michaela. Help me think of an act of vandalism so heinous. It'll scare that dweeb away for good. All right, so let's see. Bring the one thing guaranteed to destroy the value of property, shitty neighbors. So salt in the soil so no shopping malls will ever grow here again. Oh, God. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Hmm. I mean, this is this seems pretty smart. Shitty neighbors. What are we thinking? I'm thinking that's like... It seems like it's either pretty, like, creative or fun. Pretty creative or fun. Like, I think sowing salt is definitely smart. It's definitely a smart thing. This is my... Hmm. <sighs> this game is so hard. I think we're... <sighs> I think we're gonna go to the smarts. I think we're gonna go to the smarts because I think this one might be creativity. So yeah. <sighs> Not cre Oh, so shopping malls is creative, huh? Interesting. Okay. Okay, 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 that's fine. Oh, what the fuck? Shopping malls don't grow out of the soil? You're thinking of power plants. Ah, oh, shit, he's right. But it's too late. You already throwing salt everywhere like glitter at a drag show. Whatever, it's not like a little salt ever hurt anybody, right? Wrong, asshole! Think about it. What's a one group of people always throwing salt on the ground? <sighs> Come on, everyone knows this. It's sumo wrestlers! Right before a sumo wrestling match! You just put out a call that would be heard by every sumo wrestler in a 100 mile radius! Ah, it'll be fine. How many sumo wrestlers could there possibly be in a 100 miles of this game? Spooky. You mean other than the 500 sumo wrestlers who just appeared on the horizon and are now charging this way? Ah, oh, fuck. Hey, says one of the sumo wrestlers hugely. Did someone throw some salt around here? We got a feeling sumo smash is about to start. <laughs> yeah, it was this dumbass. Come and get her. <laughs> Shit! With pleasure, all the sumo wrestlers say in unison. I'm out. Listen, you're getting sumo's dingus. Fuck you, dude! You're getting unleashed at the end of this! You don't at all. The resulting sumo infestation leads to prevent- Oh god, fuck you. <laughs> It prevents the evil CEO from building a shopping mall, but that doesn't stop you from getting minus two charisma and minus one strength body slammed out of you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, it's fine. It's all good. Anyone know a good ghost story? It's all good. I'm not stressed one bit. It's like one out of like how many times we've already we already succeeded. So let's go get him again. Like any night around a camp spooky campfire, the air is filled with the smell of smoke and the sound of bickering. For the last time, Damien, you simply don't have what it takes. What? How can you say that? How can I not have what it takes to be your next bad guy? I'm the baddest dude I know! Be that as it may, you are not the baddest dude that I know. I fought many impressive villains in my time who've done far more villainous things than you ever have. I can get there! I can be more villainous! My whole thing is trying to save the world. Why would I ever encourage you to be more villainous? Well, if you don't want to encourage me to get more villainous, then I think you need to admit that I'm already a villain. Ugh! I have real bad guys to fight, Damien. Some of them are probably plotting some unspeakable crimes right this second. Give it a rest. 
Of course, the most unspeakable crime of all would be missing out on this golden opportunity to impress one of your campmates. You leap into action to avert that potential crisis. Um, there's no more danger. There's no villain more dangerous than Damien is to his own well-being. Be the hero, joy, and stop him causing himself so much harm. Doesn't matter how villainous Damien is or isn't, because he doesn't fit the most important description for the coven villain. Want to fuck joy? <laughs> He's gonna cause himself harm. It's fine. He's totally a villain. Hmm. This sounds like one of Michaela's somatic loopholes designed to curry favor with her crush. But I'm willing to hear you out. So, Damien, what have you been doing to make you a danger to yourself? Oh boy, let me tell you. I arm wrestled a crocodile for a piece of gum, but it was my arm versus the crocodile's mouth. I used a beehive as a punching bag, and wore a bear trap as a bracelet, and for breakfast I had hot sauce, and nothing but hot sauce, and also the hot sauce bottle, and then I went sledding down the mountain at a 90 degree angle, straight down, and the sled was my own ass sitting on nothing but the ice, and then I did laundry with a fabric softener. Okay, okay, stop, 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 stop. <sighs> Are these really all things you've done in your lifetime? Lifetime? Joy. These are all things I've done in the past 48 hours. Okay, I may be able to work with that. I think it's pretty clear the first precaution we need to take. Epic laser sword show down at the edge of the cliff! No. The first thing I'm going to do is wrap you in bubble wrap. Yes! Our first real villain fight! Joy wraps Davian tightly in bubble wrap as he celebrates his defeat. And this is good for you for three reasons. One, Damien is thrilled, so mission accomplished. Two, Damien is now at least 26.4% safer from his own shenanigans. <laughs> and three, Damien actually looks really hot wrapped in bubble wrap. Is this your kink now? Apparently this is your kink now. No kink shaming. <coughs> you secretly stash away some bubble wrap just in case you get to <clears throat> battle Damien yourself one day. <laughs> All right, we're gonna gamble over a drink again. We can arise at the time to visit Juan, the small, magical Latino cat. Look who's here, welcome to my bar. Really, I don't know who in their right mind would take such a risk. I guess you have more thirst than common sense. Anyway, check this drink out. Ooh, cosmopolitan. No idea if I got the recipe right, want to try? Otherwise, you always have the mystery box. All right, I think we can take the Cosmo. I'm gonna take the Cosmo. Yeah, totally. I was testing your common sense. Can you pass your prizes? The drink you chose. <clears throat> the Cosmopolitan receives its name because it disrupts the very core of the Cosmos. Thanks to it, any stat effect is now doubled for you. For better or for worse. Shot, shot, shot. This is the part where I leave you before you puke all over me. Show. Ha, ha, ha.